Joe, I want a studio for the podcast. How are we going to do that? I don't know, but I want it. I want one right now. I want to go in a studio and I want to record in person. Okay, let's do it then. We're going to record in a studio. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the official Let's Talk studio in our first ever live uh, recording of yeah. the Let's Talk series. I know. Isn't that exciting? It's, it's very exciting. This is what I've been working on for two weeks. That's why I haven't uploaded, so don't, don't hang me, all right? So, but hey, it's going to be worth it. Plus, I got a bunch of other content coming soon. Yeah. Joe, yeah. how does it feel being in the studio? What do you think? feels good. It looks nice, you know? It's very um, You got a phone. You got Prime. Not sponsored, by the way. We're not sponsored, right? We should be. We should. Yeah. But we got the books. <clears throat> yeah. And then, what else? I don't know I love the books, but it's all right. But, uh, you know, this is going to be our first time. We're going to have guests here, and we're going to do fun stuff, and then see yeah. all the fancy They're stuff. They're going to sit right here, right exactly. in the middle of the couch. Right here. Should, we're going to sandwich them. They're going to be <laughs> right between us, too. Exactly. It's going to be fun. We're going to treat them well. Yep. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, our first topic I want to talk about. So, um, what was it? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't even, we talked about this in the car, so don't think that this is like you know just coming out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I don't think we talked about this. Oh, but oh, I want to talk about our accomplishments about we had at Crunch recently. A little first segment. Oh God, you're gonna break you on yourself. The, no, Sorry. no, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no, no. I want to talk about you. No, no, no. Go ahead. Sorry. Right. Well, you didn't even know what I was gonna say. No, yeah, I know what you're trying to talk about now. Sorry. You were on the official Crunch Amity post, mm. and you look fucking badass. This, we're gonna put a picture. Oh, can I put it? It's all right. Yeah, I'm going to put the picture on screen. Funny story about how that shit happened. So it was me, Chris, and you. We were, yeah, we were at the gym, mm -hmm. and we were just working out, and then this lady comes up to us, and she's like, oh, um, do you mind if we, like, uh, you know, take a few pictures or videos? And I'm like, whatever. And then, you know, Colin over here is like, oh, yeah, you know, I mean, promotion, I mean, right? Like, you know, show off those gains. That was, yep, no. I did not say that. So, and then, uh, you know, we're, we're doing that, and, you know, I'm, I lift more than Colin, because I'm better. Not but anymore. For deadlift. I'm holding back. Anyway, <laughs> so, you know, and he was just, you know, we were working out, and Colin goes first, and she takes, like, this, like, it must have been, like, beautiful, because she took, like, a, a bunch of, like, videos, a bunch of pictures, whatever, and I'm like, oh, my God, she's really, like, you know, Looking at and I'm like, Colin. Yeah, she like, took she, a lot of pictures. Yeah, she's a like, lot of you. And I was like, wow. Which was really weird. I'm like, all right, Colin's like, they, they, they got him. Like, he's set up. And I'm like, all right, it's my turn to go. I'm like, all right, let's go. I go to go. <laughs> Don't see her. She and takes like, like and two I'm, or three yeah, pictures. Yeah, she, uh, uh, <laughs> but she I, didn't, I didn't see her, Colin. You know, I, so from my perspective, she took, well, let me also kind of give my perspective while a lot of Cena was getting ready to, he was like flipping shit. He was like, I'm I'm angry. I'm gonna do this. It's a pre-workout. Crazy. It was a pre he was like, he was acting like a psycho. It was a pre-workout. He was acting like it, it locks you in. You like know? he was going absolutely ballistic. I was getting like, Joe, you're scaring her. She's like standing. Back. I was not scaring her. I might have, but I don't think <laughs> I was. might have. But anyway, so she was doing the uh, what should we call it? She uh, she was getting ready and getting the setup. Joel was like, mm, and he does the deadlift. He does like. What was it? You did two times more than the amount I did just to prove something. I did something. like five times because you pissed me off. Yeah, yeah. I did. You, you I did something. And I, I basically off. did five. I think you did ten. And No, I did not do ten. Well, how many did you do? You did like two and I did five. No, I didn't. I did like five. Or sorry, no, four. You're misremembering it. No, I did four. Yeah, it, was, um, it was the 45s. No, three four, 45s and a 25s. I did five of those. Whatever. It's four. not important to the anyway, story. Well, I just want to prove a point. Okay. Anyway, so then she's doing it. She takes like the pictures from a distance, and she takes like three and leaves, and then I'm, she's like, he's like, how do I do? Do I look good on camera? And she like look, he's looking around for her, and I'm like, and she was gone. She was gone. I didn't even see her, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm shopping. Yeah, right? he was you know? so pissed. I was like, it's it was fine. You know, it's like, all right. I don't want to be, you know. He no. He literally told me if you're on the fence, then you don't even lift as heavy as me. I'm gonna be. Down. And it was all right. It was but because and later I was going through my phone. I found that you were on the post. Mm -hmm. I come in later, though. Oh, That's, did they put you on? No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> but, I, dude, they took so many of me, man. They might have. I don't know. Unless all of them were bad, but I think... I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of glad that she only took pictures and she didn't take a video. Because she took a video of you. Did uh, she take a video of you? She 100% did. 
She had to take a video of you. I... Because she was, like, moving and shit, too. What? Well, I didn't see what was happening. Yeah. So. She was, like, she had 100%. Either she was, like, taking pictures really fast, or she was taking a video of you. That's weird. But, um, I'm kind of glad she only took a picture of me, because, like, midway through the set, uh, my pants were falling down, so, you know. Well, to be fair, you were kind of loose on your form a little bit, which, well, that happens when you kind of do more, so. Which is fine. I mean, well, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but you're also, your pants were falling down. They were falling down. But, uh, you know, but that was a great accomplishment. I actually had to stop. I probably could have done more. But. Yeah, well, yeah. again. I didn't want the gym to explode. Yeah, of course. Of course you know, of course. it could have. It could have. Well, now, now I'm at that point where I can explode. Because we're on the same level, technically. No, we're not. Well, for, and, until you. If you, Gert's watching, he knows. Gert, 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 Gert knows that. Gert, I'm, we're going to have a talk. You, we're going to come back on the podcast. We're going to have a talk. And we're going we're, we're gonna to sell this. We're going to settle this. We're on the same level for now until you do more and I do more. Plus, my goal I want to do, um, if I don't do squats, we do, if we don't do squats first today, I want to try and do two of the 40, 405. At least I want to try. I don't think I'm going to do it. Do whatever you want, man. I mean, it's your body, your choice, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. Do what you got to do. Yeah, your body, your choice. We, we support your body, your choice. Are you proud of that? I am. Uh, you proud of that statement? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You're looking at me like you sell out. <laughs> it's all right. No, it's all what, you know, let's change, man. Let's change. Right, let's let's change. transition. Okay. What was the next? Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about. What do you think about the TikTok ban that happened recently? Or that it passed the Senate I, or something? I don't really shit. give a shit. I'm not going to lie. You don't? It doesn't affect me. That's a f lie. It doesn't. You, no. This mother f is a liar. You know why? I was in a meeting with PTV and a bunch of other stuff. I was doing stuff and I turned off my phone. So, like, hour or two later goes by after working. I check my phone. I see 50 missed notifications. I'm like, oh my God, did someone need me? This mother sends me 37 TikToks. Listen. 37. Like, put it on the screen. Listen. Put it on the screen. Listen. You need to understand <laughs> that I see these things and I think they're funny. And I want to share them with my friend. So, you know, I'm going, I'm scrolling through, and I, I like it. And I'm like, hey, Colin would like this. So I, I send it to him. And that's it. And it, so it, don't just, it just so happened they, did be, they were 37. Don't. <laughs> Don't you f lie to me. I mean, I'm not addicted get. to it. Like, I could stop. You're not. Yeah, you can stop. Like, I'm not a smoker. No, because here's or the thing. You, you literally I, have I, phases. I, I talked to Chris about this. You have phases where, like, let's just say I go. I go on arcs. Yes. Yeah. You go. I go. No, I'll I go five hours without it. I'll be like, okay, don't get a single. I will know. He won't be dead for all I f know. And then just fing one day or one f Usually hour, it's in the middle of the night. Middle of the. Yeah. No. The witching hour. Yeah, you know? it's either so. it's either at like morning, like or midday. He'll send me thirty-seven. Or worst thing, next morning I will get messages at four or three a.m. of like stupid shit where I'm like, like usually it's stuff that I'll laugh at, but then it's like this f***ing judge, this f***ing judge, the judge, Judge Holden. That Those judge. who are on TikTok who know Judge Holden, you know what I'm talking. That mother. He's the guy. He sent me twenty He's of those in a row. Sent me twenty of those in a row. I love him. Twenty. I love Judge Holden. I don't get it. I don't even know where he's from. <laughs> you don't, I don't know where he's from. I have from. no clue what the character does. He's from a book. That's all I know. You do, you, I don't, you have no context. I have no clue what he's all about. No one in else TikTok, like no one on TikTok knows what he's you, about. You have no. He's just really cool. He's not like a murderer or a clown. I have no clue. He's the, he never sleeps. How does it, how do you, you know he's a judge then? He's a judge. How do you fucking know? He's called Judge Holden. Someone, you, you, you don't get that title for nothing. All right? What the f the context. <laughs> that's, a, that's a legal license reference right there. But what? Like, you don't get that title for nothing. If Sean's watching, he'll get it. You know what, Sean? If you're watching, then, then or, you get or it. Or Liam. I don't know if Liam will get it. I think Liam will get it. But yeah. anyway, my point is, you send me that mother all the time. Meanwhile, what I do to counteract this shit, um, you, there's this guy I uh, follow where- Yeah, Freddie Fazbear. Well, hold on. Let me do it. I want to tell my fucking explain. part. Go ahead. Explain. So- um, what should we call it? It starts off with this really controversial opinion of like I don't know women or politics, and it's stupid as shit. But then the guy cuts in because politics are stupid, uh, and then it cuts into this guy. He's like, you know who else is a uh, brown? Freddie Fazbear. I just like how you go controversial topics, and you're like women, <laughs> <laughs> okay. women in politics. That's it. That's the I, don't fuck, I don't know politics or controversial <laughs> no, shit. <laughs> 
it's really I just like how that was like the first thing. Well, is it what is it like abortion? I don't know. No, yeah, the guy he like it's basically like, oh yeah, you know, um, something about like the border control, and then it'll cut you like, you know what else is, is on the border? Freddie Fazbear or some shit like that. And that's <laughs> literally the entire thing. They'll say some controversial shit, and then it cuts to this guy going like, you know who else does that? Freddy Fazbear, <laughs> and that's the entire. Well, then thing. he goes in like how Foxy the pirate goes, and then he's like cheeky to cheeky. He's addicted to FNAF. I'm not he's the addicted FNAF to guy. I'm not the FNAF. That is guy. all he does. He plays FNAF twenty four seven. I do not. He's play... actually, believe it or not, planning to do a marathon of FNAF. So. I do want to do that, yeah. but I, I'm not. See, the there you go. I mean, he admitted I'm, to it. Because here's he's the, the FNAF guy. I'm not the FNAF yes, guy. Yes, you are. I swear, 100%. I'm not. Hundred percent. I'm not. Listen, you guys, you know, you, you made a Jeopardy based off of FNAF. It's, I, that's I know the most about it. I, just because I know the most about something but doesn't mean I'm the fanatic. Yeah, it needs to be the fanatic. I'm not the fanatic. 100%. Guy. But no, here's the thing. Here's my point. You know what makes it uh, me the FNAF guy, at least in your guys' mind? You guys make give me FNAF. Like, for example, we have a secret Santa every single year, and we all do, like, gifts and stuff, and, it's, like, we open it. It's really cute. Everything I open on Secret Santa is FNAF-related. Is it? Dude, Lucas gave me a FNAF plushie and a movie poster. I'm not saying I hated it. I actually love it. I have that poster hanging on my wall still, and I have that plushie by my desk. I love it to death. But that sort of stuff, that's what makes me think that you guys think I'm the FNAF guy. You are the FNAF guy. I'm not the FNAF guy. You've played every single FNAF game. Yes? Not to completion. All right. I haven't played security. Compl- oh, sorry. You didn't 100% it. My apology. Well, no. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't, like, I haven't finished Security Reach. Oh. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Gregory's a robot. Spoilers. Well, it's not what if someone wants to know the lore? Well, man? it's not confirmed yet. It's not confirmed. It's Matt Pat. Didn't Matt Pat say that? Well, first of all, oh. Matt Pat's gone. God bless his I soul. I don't really. I I care. He was cool. I love Matt. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I didn't watch Game Theory when I was a kid. Yeah, don't. But it was. I mean, like, I was like, all right. I mean, it's it's sad, but it's like, hey, listen, he had a good career. Good. He, he can retire. Has a family. You know, uh, better than most of the YouTubers. Exactly. Have. You know, I mean, he did a good job. He had a good run. You either retire or you get caught for doing something stupid, yeah. which is sad. But it's I'm so happy that he ended on the good ending. Yeah. It, it was fine. And now there are new people who took over. I don't know anything about them. I have no clue who I they are. I started watching them. They're all right. It's a, it's a weird adjustment. Where I think the theories are still good. It just... Because here's the thing. The guy that owns the game theory, he's like a British guy. And it's like, it's really oh, weird. He's British. He, he's, he's a British, British boy. boy. He likes Siggy yeah? and shit. British. He, um... <laughs> um but it, he's a little weird. Well, he's not weird. He just, I don't know. It's like, you're so used to hearing that, Pat. It's well, yeah, of weird... course it's going to be weird. It's like if you watch a show and, like, there's, um, it's like, for example, if I was watching, like, uh, the Joe Rogan podcast or whatever, and then all of a sudden the host wasn't Joe Rogan anymore, it's like, okay, this is weird. Or you're watching just content. I mean, that's what happened to, I'll, I'll talk about this, Rooster Teeth. You know, I loved Rooster Teeth growing up. They were, like, my favorite thing. Um, back in the good old days... <laughs> The good old days. That's, uh, a, that's a reference. Gion's reference. Gion's reference. And um, he, uh, you know, the, and when I'm saying he, Rooster Teeth, they had like a group of people, Achievement Hunter, and they had like, you know, a group of people played video games, and they all had like really good chemistry. And eventually some of those people left, or they started changing people, and new people came in. And while I don't think those new people like weren't talented or anything, I do think they were talented, it's just that um, I, it, nostalgia definitely plays a factor in it. But it kind of was like, oh, well, this is weird because these aren't the same people who I watched. Like, I remember when I used to watch Rooster Teeth back in, like, uh, like middle school or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, here are, the, here are the guys. Like, these are the guys. And then all of a sudden, I remember I didn't watch them for a while. And I came back in high school. I'm like, oh, what's going on with them? And I watched a video. And I'm like, who the f*** are these people? <laughs> I was like, I only recognized, like, two people. I'm like, what happened? Like, where did all, like, the people go? And then I, like, had to, like, well, I actually, like, watched a video about, like, like, someone who, like, did Rooster Teeth lore, like, what has happened, like, whatever. And they basically explain everything, like, all right, like, wow, like, a lot has changed. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not saying, like, that's the reason why, because they recently, um, unfortunately. Didn't they go uh, like, bankrupt or some shit? They, uh, no, it was, uh, 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 Warner Brothers basically, like, uh, canceled, like, their, their shit or whatever. Like, all oh. Rooster Teeth projects and shit like that. I mean, some of them are going to continue, I know that. But, like, the, the Rooster Teeth company is, like, no more, basically. Like, that's oh. it. It's done. Warner uh, Brothers over them? I think it was Warner Brothers. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I never heard like at least big companies like that owning YouTube channels. Yeah. I don't know. Well, they they um. I know some of them do own like their own channels, but I didn't know they own like YouTube like original like Rooster Teeth shit. Yeah. 
So shit. that was sad because I, I actually liked Rooster Teeth a lot. That was more sad for me, like than Matt Pat. Because Matt Pat again, I like Matt Pat, but like, but when when I found out that Rooster Teeth was like basically dead, I'm like, wow. Well, here's uh, the thing, like. Rooster Teeth is dead. Map Hat's channels are still alive. And no, still that's the that's the good thing though. Unfor and like I said, like um, you know, Rooster Teeth, like I'm not gonna say that it was one of the reasons why they, they failed, um, was because they got a new a bunch of new people or whatever. But when they got a bunch of new people, you could definitely tell that like the community was like there was like oh who like are these people? Like these aren't like the people who I like you know uh, grew up with basically yeah. you know which and uh, unfortunately and you can even see it too. You can actually see their videos. The view count went down. Like, remember, this is a, they have millions of subscribers, like nine million subscribers. You would look at their videos, they would like average like 10K. Yeah. That's bad. That's, yeah, that's really bad. bad. bad like, you shouldn't, like, you know, and it's unfortunate. Get your the f***ing platform. It was, it was sad, but, you know, because I, I love Rooster Teeth. Um, but what are you going to do? You know what channel that was really sad that I, I still see them upload, but it's just like, it's not the same good content it was before? John Tron. I haven't watched John Tron in forever. Dude, if you look at his new content, it's so, like, awful. Where it's really? basically, it's really bad. Where, okay, like. Because I love JonTron. He I was like. Dude, I love the old JonTron shit. Th that shit's like, that's like internet iconic It's iconic. Shit. It is. Like, I, like, there are, he, he's like in meme culture, too. Yeah. Like, um, like, there were, they'll say, like, something controversial. Like, do you know the, where he goes, like, what? What the fuck? You know, or what? whatever. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, exactly. What the like that's that's like a meme, you know. So like he like I and that's like you know, good yeah. old good old good yeah. old days. And there's God. so many just memes of him that you don't even recognize that it's him. But now he's just doing like for example, he well he still does spon he, he only does sponsored videos now where he only uploads when people sponsor him, which like is kind of like for example he did a video uh you you know Timo T not Timo Team Moo I think it's called that weird ass Chinese company that gets rid of free shit. No. Okay, well, context. <laughs> Timu is this app company where basically they take old products that, like, businesses, do, like, let's just say they, a company made all these shirts, but they don't sell any, and they go bankrupt. Timu buys it at a, at a low price and then sells it to people for, like, a profit. Like, they'll raise okay. it up. And that's pretty much, it's like Chinese, and apparently there was a scandal with them and doing, like, online crypting Why data. Is there not stuff. a scandal with a Chinese There's always company. scandal with shit. I mean, it's like you TikTok. There you go. <laughs> but um, biggest, I just, he did a sponsor with Timu where basically he got a bunch of free shit and uh, he reviewed them and it was just so bad. And he's like, the whole video was like, if you want this product, go to Timu and you get it for free if you sign up now. And I'm like, you sell out mother. I'm like, Bro. it's business, man. I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't seen anything, so I can't say anything on it. But hey, I mean, listen, they want to make money. I don't know if I necessarily agree with it, but they're making money. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah, well, but then there's, then there's the awful endings, like what happened with the awful. <laughs> We went to the good ending, the middle ending, the sellout what's, ending. What's the awful ending? In uh, the accusation shit, like what happened with, uh, what is it, like Scott is Minecraft or what was it? There was uh, one of the Vanos crew also. I forgot which one it was. Yeah, I mean, Dude. but that's like, that's like whatever. Um, Fuck it. You know, I mean, like, I know that I... Oh, I forgot who it was. Who was it? Was it Minilad? No. No, Minilad retired. Or, oh, no, no, that's Moo. No, no, no. I think it was Minilad. I forget. He, like, did something. With he did something. Well, he left the crew, and then he started beef with them, and then he but, got accused of something. Yeah, and it's not good. It's Where I'm like, good. how the fuck? I'm sure people know it. If they don't know it, you could look it up. Yeah. You know? Where, um, like, I, it, dude, it's crazy how common that shit is. It's, like, how the fuck? Just crack my wrist. Oh, that's gonna be good for the gym. It's a nice, stretched nice out. crack, yeah. So, oh, that makes it limber. Oh, let's go to the next topic though. The, get off of this uh, controversy. Oh, I mean, come on, we got to keep it moving. Now. We got we gotta keep it moving. We only uh, got an hour, so I'm yeah. hour. <laughs> we can an stretch hour, a little. Hour and change, but a little bit. But we want to keep it in an hour. But a uh, couple questions. So th I want to go into a topic called hygiene, which we because we talked about. Is it about called hygiene? Pretty much. Are you sure? Well, we'll call it I'm testing. Yeah. So. Thanks, You're professor. Welcome. All right, what do you want to talk about with hygiene? Okay, so we talked about this, and I want to see what not only what people think, but I think our differences. So, first one: How often do you brush your teeth? Twice a day. I do it once. And you're weird. 
I am no. There you go. Well, here's my logic. I, I, I here's my here's logic. Your logic. Defend yourself. Put yourself here's on trial. You're supposed to brush your teeth in the morning and at night. Here's usually. The, usually. After where breakfast or before breakfast? Well, he, no. This is this is what I do. I answer this one quick. After breakfast or before breakfast? Well, here's the thing. I brush them at night. Okay. Where? Go ahead. Okay. This is what I do. I. Wait, you only brush your teeth once a day. I, well, I well, thinking, let me explain. Let me explain. I think he, I thought he was normal. But, oh yeah. my god. Okay. Here's the thing. I try to do it, but sometimes I'm in a rush or I'm oh, doing Of soon. course. I mean, we got to get to the studio. But here. I, <laughs> <coughs> Jesus. Excuse you. You know, I don't know Calm why down, I'm coughing right? Okay, but here's, here's my reason for it. It's where, just a podcast, all right? I, I literally, I, I, I have some sort of immune disease. I, I cough all the f- time. I don't know. I'm like a smoker. But here's my, here's my point of view where I try and brush my teeth, but the days I don't, I usually brush at night. I always make sure I brush at night. And here's the reason. At the end of the day, when you're done eating, you, if you brush your teeth and just get it nice and good and you floss and do everything, what's the point of doing in the morning? Unless it's after you eat breakfast. Well, you want to do it in the morning because, well, I think it builds up at night like plaque. Because here's the thing. I'm pretty you're sure. Because s- you're, well, if you brush your teeth at night, then it shouldn't. Yeah, but I mean, like, it could be like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, listen. That's the way I grew up. I mean, you brush your teeth in the morning. He, you brush your teeth at night. That's it. It's that simple. I don't know why this guy can't follow well, the no, instructions. Well, no, no, Here's my argument. We all learned well, this not like, like when we were like just, I'm gonna be five years old. I mean, I it's least, not that hard. Hold on, no, 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 no. Don't, don't tooth, f- get the Buzz Lightyear toothpaste, you know, your little like, uh, you <laughs> know, the, the vibrating you? toothbrush and you just, you, know, you like, go in there and that's it. You don't remember like the, the they had like the theme toothpaste? I don't remember the theme toothpaste. They had like little like kitty ones. I they guess had, like, I'm the just the boring Lightyear. child. There I was got, like Woody. I just got the regular ass crush I mean, co- you had no childhood. That's sad. Man. Okay. Well, here's the thing. If it's like a special event where realistically you should be brushing your teeth every single time you eat a meal. Yes. I mean, there, that's I, what they say. I told you, quick sidetrack, we were at the gym. This was like a few days ago. And we were at the gym and I, I was in the bathroom and there was a dude just like, he was, sh- so at first he was shaving. He had like, this, he had shaving cream and everything. Puts it on and he just starts shaving. I'm like, hey, good for him. You know what? He's going to start shaving. After he's done shaving, you know, I finish, I'm washing my hands right next to him. Bust out. Like like a toothbrush or whatever. Like he was just he just finished shaving. You know, wipes himself down, brushes out a toothbrush, puts toothpaste on, starts brushing. I'm like, wow. And this guy, this guy's brushing his teeth after the gym. I mean, I don't know what maybe he was eating. I don't know what he was doing. Who the f- does that? I don't know, but he was brushing his teeth in a gym bathroom. And you know what? I don't know if it's the necessarily most sanitary place to do it. You know, but hey. Oh. You got to you gotta shave when you got to shave, and you got to brush when you got to brush. Because right? that's my I mean, problem like, when they say after every meal is that what if you're not home? What if well, listen, out? I know there are some people who will, like, after, if, even if they're at work, they will bring a toothbrush with them, and they will go into the bathroom. And but they that's kind of I knew disgusting. kids in high school who did that. That's kind of disgusting. I, I, knew, I knew kids who would go, and they would brush their teeth. But that's kind of disgusting, though. Is it, or is it hygienic? Well, because, he, okay, not the action itself, but here's the thing. You don't know what the f*** that water. That is true. You don't know what the f- yeah, it could. I mean, maybe some people use a water bottle for the water. That, that is, I guess. Listen, I don't do it. I only do two times a day. You know, I think everyone you know, does that. But because my argument is that, like, if you you're gonna go throughout the day eating anyway, so what's the f- point? Where here's the thing. If like, for example, me right now, like, let's just say I what I do is I eat one big meal in the morning, go the whole day fasting, then before the gym I load up on carbs and eat a protein meal, and then I just go work out, I do my shit, and then... <laughs> what is this? I don't this is a little, uh, And then yeah, you- <laughs> when I come home, I load up on protein and I go to bed. Where... And then you brush your teeth. Yes. Of course. But it makes sense for me to do in the morning because I'm going to go the whole day without eating. But like for normal people that eat like okay. three to four meals right. a day. You brush your teeth once a day. It's all right. Well, I not all. It's the days. It's okay. At least you brush. There are some people who don't brush. You know, whoever doesn't brush, you're f-ing psychotic. Some people don't do it. You are actually it's psychotic. okay. It's their life. They can do whatever they want. Okay, I can't judge them. Next question. This one. Um. Um. Do you? What do you wash your body with? In the shower. Yeah. Okay. Got to make sure you clarify that. All right. No, and actually in the <laughs> pool. Uh, yeah, and- well, I'm just grinding my uh, you know, private historically all over the pool. speaking. 
Mm. Um, you know, oh, here we obviously go. You use your hands uh, with, you know. Well, I mean, I'll tell you this because I, I, the reason why he's saying this, because I actually brought this up to him, and I'll tell you why he's bringing this up because I actually asked him this question. Um, I was actually watching a video on YouTube, and the guy was like, there was one, it was him and his friend who were playing, like, I don't know, they were playing some battle royale game. And, Fortnite, might have been, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and the guy was like, hey, um, do you, like, what was it? He said, oh, did, what do you wash yourself with in the shower? And the guy goes, uh, my hands. And the other guy was like, dude, that's gross as f. And I'm sitting there, I'm watching them, because usually I'm like, well, I, I, you know, I mean, listen, I use a bar of soap, like, on the body, but, you know, I, when it comes to the, the hair, you know, you gotta, you gotta well, use hair the hands. Makes it, well, yeah. do you actually just use a bar of soap for your body, or do you Not actually, always, not always. Well, I'm Depends. saying, you have, like, this liquid um, body soap. Do you just dump it on your hand? Yeah. And just, then, just touch yourself. Yeah. I mean, what do, you know, what do you do? And then, and he was like, oh, yeah, and I use my hands. And the guy was like, that's gross. That's gross. And whatever. Like, you don't use a rag? And I'm thinking, I'm like, mm, I don't use a rag. I don't. I use my hands or a bar of soap, and that's it. You know? I mean, because the, the way I see it is that when you wash your hands, what do you wash them with? Your hands, right? You go, you go this. You, you put on the warm water. You wash your hands. You, everyone accepts that. All right. It's an infinite clean. trifecta. You your hands, hands are clean. Wash you lather your up your hands with soap, and then you and then you wash them with nice yep. warm water. Okay, that's fine. But like you know, then you get to the shower, and it's and the guy's like, oh well, you you know, I wash my body with my hands. Isn't it kind of the same thing? No, like you don't wash your hands with a rag. Do you? It, but here's Do my you? here's my <laughs> here's my point. I don't think it's disgusting. I think that's the argument that because you're. Just, Saying you're clean, it's disgusting to clean yourself with soap that contradicts yourself. It's how is that is such an inconvenient way to clean. If I think the best way is a bar of soap, bar of soap, I think is the well, it matters. Way. Like, if you have like body soap, then I'm gonna use the body soap. If I have a bar of soap, I'll use a bar. I mean, it's whatever I'm feeling that day, you know. What I mean, but like, if you use purely your hands, how the f I don't know about you, but f when I'm like, if I ever like, I think there was like a couple times in my life I had to because I'm like, I didn't have anything. And I'm like, it just, because I, it's so, because it gets slippery, and I'm like, I can't get the soap where I want it to be. And I'm like, <laughs> it, goes, it goes all over the place. I mean, what You're do you such do? an asshole. Yeah, no, it, where I'm like, with a rag, it's, you can control it better. So, like, you can, like, put the soap equally throughout your body, which I think oh, that's I mean, the point. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get the equal proportions. You gotta do the calculations. Like, all right, <laughs> if I do a little bit of soap here, 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 you know, I mean, just the right amount. Actually, I just came up with a great question. What order do you wash your body? Um, they are all wrong answers in this. Well, there's a bunch of right answers, but there are also wrong answers. Well, usually, I do the shampoo first, mm -hmm. and then I do the body. Well, no, okay, yeah, I know that. Uh, that's obvious. But like, what do you mean? Like, do you start with your chest and then go to your arms and then go to your pits? I guess back. I guess the chest. I don't know. Well, go, go. Go, because here's the thing. Go through the motion? You want me to stand <laughs> up and, and like, do a okay, little, like... Okay, here's my argument. Because... An example? Do, do you, like, for example, go to the... Where the sun don't shine areas and wash them and then do, like, everything well, else? Usually, you... I just start from the top and then I go to the bottom. That's it. You, go, you start up top and you go to the bottom. I have a, no, I think you're wrong. That's a I, Well, I'm, I'm not going to judge you, but the way I do, do you wash it, your feet? Be honest. Sometimes. Not all the time. I wash my feet. Not all the time. Gotta keep those feet clean. I shave my feet, though, which is weird. All right, well, that's... We weren't, we're not talking about that. Well, Thank kinda, you for adding to the conversation. Well, it's kind of... Oh, you. you know, we're talking... It's kind of kind of adding, because yeah. it's, it's maintenance. It's <laughs> maintenance. Someone's going to check it? Like, what does that mean? I don't know. Maybe I have good-looking dogs. I mean, listen, I mean... People are into that. There are only fans creators who just do toe picks. Exactly. You could start. Listen, if I get a girl and you she can, wants to do that shit, I'd be like, you don't need a girl. Use your own feet. You think girls are they are gonna know it's a guy's feet if they look that good? Nice and soft. Just paint your nails. I don't. I don't paint think your toenails. I'm, They're not gonna know the difference. I, I, nah, I ain't gonna be in that business. That's Just weird. do it. That weird as shit. Who cares? Okay, you're getting money. No, <laughs> I because my my feet do not look that good. That. Well, you think that they could be looking better. That you don't know. You might have some nice looking feet. I don't know. You want to you want to you want to reveal them to the camera? I am not doing a off? foot reveal on Come camera. On. No, you do it. Speak. I can't. I actually can't. Yeah, but 
to go back to the to the previous thing we were talking about, uh, washing our fucking bodies and shit. I will make this statement: if you wash, like your armpits and your private areas and shit, and then like wash anything else after, you're a fucking psycho. You're basically washing yourself with your own shit at that point. Are you? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. I. Fucking... All right. Well. You're a freak, according to Common. So sorry about that. But, Why are um, you? <laughs> listen, I don't, I don't like memorize what I wash. Really, I just, again, I just go from top to bottom. That's listen, it. armpits. I will say, like top to bottom, I think armpits is okay. But if you wash your ass and then wash your legs, you're disgusting. You wash your private area last. All right. That's, that's, listen, that's at least that's, that's, my that's, that's fair. That's fair. That's f that's fair. But you know, usually I just, uh, I just go top to bottom. So. I gotta find because I remember I had one more topic. Oh, he's got it in his notes. I do. Professional here. You know? Oh, got it. Nice fun. socks. Thank you. What are those? Is that a pentagram? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Are you a Are you a Satanist? Oh my God. No, I'm gonna get shit for it. What is it? <laughs> is it that has been hotel? It, it is, isn't it? It's it has been hotel, you piece of shit. Oh my god, I knew it. The verbal ace. I couldn't keep You're him away. Such from, a I dick couldn't man. keep him away from verbal ace. I tried. I really did try. But that's the it has one been hotel. day you I must bear these, man. I don't get what I the appeal of that show I was like, oh, I is. Like I don't you. understand it. Maybe it is good. I don't know. But you since there's so many about it asshole. and ever since verbal ace made that video and he what did he spend 5k <laughs> for a like 16 year old kid to animate that for him like it has been hotel you're a verbal ace fan I'm i can't not believe a verbal it ace yes, fan. No, everyone knows it if chris, no i don't like verbal chris if you're watching <laughs> no. you know he's a verbal ace fan Dude, is chris coming with us Is he here? i don't think so well he went yesterday so oh, oh he's pooped he's pooped yeah. well if you want we can ask him why don't you ask him do not tell him to be eat and go light. We should ask. Because every time we go to the gym, he's like, sure. I'm sure. glad I noticed that. I, 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 I really you, am. I you really saw am the Prince game? I thought you were going to connect it to D&D and the Satanist. I'm like, please do that. Because I was like, oh, you know, it's, oh, it's all, like, you know, Satanist or whatever. And I'm looking. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> well, Joe, because you're like, has been hotel. Because you, you're like, you don't, because here's the thing. I don't wear Satanic shit. So you're like, why the fuck am I wearing that? I was hoping you didn't make the connection. And <laughs> you fucking made it. I mean, listen, man, maybe it is a good show, but I, I have show. no aspirations of watching Has Been Hotel. I'm on that uh, Jujutsu Kaisen grind. No, the f*** you ain't. F*** you. <laughs> he is not. Dude, I've been begging. Okay, we finished season one. We finished the movie. Everyone loved it. Everyone loves watching it. We watched like 12 episodes at one point. They will not watch season two when it actually gets f***ing good. Because they rather watch Dragon Ball. GT. GT. The Grand Tour. The Grand Tour. Step into the Grand Tour. Dragon Ball Why? GT. Chris uh, doesn't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. Listen, I, GT's my favorite, but I think what I realized after watching the show, I only like the first half. <laughs> Everything first half is good, but then after, I'm like, I hate this. Baby's pretty good. I think Baby's The Baby good. Saga's pretty good. The first saga suck. I, no, um, I disagree. That's well, yeah, you like <laughs> What's his name? What, what's Giru, that robot's Giru, name? Giru. 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 Giru, Giru. Um, <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, the first saga is eh. Second saga is actually pretty good. I don't think the baby saga is that bad. Um, the seventeen saga is bad. Bad is really bad. And um, what is it? Oh, the Shadow Dragon saga. We haven't finished it yet, so I don't want to get spoilers just in case people are watching. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's alright. Well, I watched. Well, I started watching that with you, and I was like, it's alright. Like, yeah. I, I GT is very ups and downs. Yes, a lot of ups and downs. But we need to watch it. We need to, we get, this, to get the full Dragon we Ball experience. I'm dead ass serious. We need Gert to watch wants to it. watch it. I want to watch it with you. We'll I watch I Jujutsu finished Kaisen. the show, by the way, context. I finished everything because I knew these motherfuckers were going to take two fucking years. We're almost done. We literally have 10 episodes of GT left. How many did you watch last night? I think six or seven. Okay, fine. I think so. The, I, we had a whole argument with, um, it was me and Chris, and we had a whole six, argument. Six, six. And we're like, you're going to watch three to four episodes, and then Sean or Chris are going to be like, I don't want to watch it. We'll watch it, it tonight. Do it, please. We will. We'll, we'll, faster you finish, we'll watch like five tonight, and then we'll, you know, have to figure faster out. Faster um, you finish GT, stuff. the faster we can watch AJK. Because season two, if you watch AJK, you know it gets f***ing cracked. Season two, where 
the, I'm going to be honest, there's not a single bad episode in season two. It, everything progresses the pot plot and everything is peak. Just fucking watch it. it watch actually? the movie. I thought the movie was alright. I thought okay. the movie was alright. Right. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was watching the movie and I'm like, eh, it's alright. I think it goes too quick. I understand why it goes quick. Because it's a movie. It's a movie. They can't get everything in there. But, you know what? Because they don't really explain everything. Yeah, it's alright. It's not bad. It's I good. had to it's do a whole synopsis. It was, the animation was beautiful. Love the animation. It was really good. But, yeah, overall it was fine. But first season was good. I liked the first season a lot. Like Toto, it's my boy. Yeah. It's me. He's literally me. That's him. Uh huh. You know, I come in. So we you. like to, <laughs> you. You're like you're a voice actor. So like, no, 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 no. You know. Okay. Well, we like to compare ourselves to the character. He's Toto. Of course. I'm not. I'm, my character comes in the first. What was it? Yeah, the first, first season. First or He's second Junpei. episode. But he won't really know it's me until season two, episode three, and he will find out Gert's character, which is literally him. Be- okay, in purely because episode. it looks a lot like him, like strikingly, it looks like. I, I'm not, not, I'm not supposed that. to. I'm not supposed to know. He probably acts like him too, but it's not just because. Like I, I already seen the character, but he like, dude. If you put Gert and you put, um, I'm not gonna say his name, but he begins with a T. I know that. Um, and you know, if, if you put them together, they look strikingly similar. Like Wait until very, you actually meet him. It's very peculiar, as some would say. Where every um, I'm gonna Gert, I asked Gert about this. I'm like, you know, he actually he literally told me he's like, everyone that's watched AJK, he's like, everyone asks, how the f- did you pay someone to get in that anime? <laughs> every single like, I think what was it? It was either his sister or his girlfriend, and they literally walk in after watching that ep- the episode season two, episode three, and they're like, how the f- did you get into the anime? Who'd you pay off? How the because f- it, it it like. Listen, you're very similar to Toto. Gert is literally this character. This is literally Gert. I wouldn't say I'm very similar to Toto. I need to get his build. You, know? you do need his build. I need to start bulking. Not really. Well, we're supposed to be in a cup. Yeah. Someone needs to get more strict with I'm it. I'm wazy. You're wazy. I am a wazy guy. Yeah, you are. Uh, no, I'll, I'll start being serious now. Yeah. Uh, you're I like, just, now that I'm catching up. It was, like, yeah, I, I'm getting scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm yeah, shaking in my boots. I got to start trying now. You know, I was like, I thought that I could take it easy, and uh, you know, my power. I had, I had a long way coming. Exactly. But, but uh, uh, I, I just got through dra- the original Dragon Ball. I got. I'm, I'm now in Z. I gotta. Yeah, I gotta. He had a glow up, so I have to start actually trying now at the gym. Um, so I'm close to that 35 plate on a bench, and that lift I already got. And what is it? I need another 10 on. Oh no, sorry, another 20 pounds on squat. So I'm really close. Who the f- is texting me oh, so much? Inappropriate. <gasps> it's Gert. Is it Gert? <laughs> is it actually is it? Gert? Let's see what he sent us. Hold up. We're gonna, Let's we're see gonna... what he sent us. Well, me. But Come on. Here, we're going to show it to the camera. Is it appropriate? Let, let's see. Probably check it first. <laughs> yeah, no, this is fine. Are they going to see it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put it up to the camera. It starts off with this. And then it goes. I don't know what it is. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> oh my god, it's the guy! Yeah, it's the guy. It's the oh guy. shit, wait, that is That's spoilers! Oh, that is spoilers! You idiot. It's Oops. okay. It's, I already know who he is. He already knows what he looks I like. I didn't even like. realize. I've seen so many memes about him on TikTok that I it's it's unavoidable. Like You know, at this point you've seen so much. Especially with um because you've seen so many spoilers of the first three episodes. Sorry, first five. Which, I'm not uh, too stingy about Jujutsu Kaisen uh, spoilers because I actually told Colin this. Um, like, I looked up certain things. And I was like, oh, okay, let me look up characters or whatever. And I'm like, okay, let's look up Toto. Let's look up uh, fucking Gojo, uh, Yuji. And it's like, uh, every time I look up a character, it'll have like a list of things that people look up, and it's like, dead. Like, Toto, <laughs> dead. Gojo, dead. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess either A, everyone in the show dies, or B, like, people are just looking up if they die or not. So technically speaking, I really don't know who dies. So I'll see what happens. But for me, I, I didn't know anybody dies. Where I, I don't think anyone, um, when I first watched it, nobody died. Um, when I first watched, at least I thought nobody died. And then, because here's the thing: once season two, that's when again everything hits. Prime Shit, it's the fan, yeah. <laughs> well, not hit the fan. Like, prime. prime, 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 sponsored, sponsored. Really. No, no, no. But you know. But uh, what was it? So I, basically the whole setup of season one in the movie is kind of like, 
oh, it's just like the, we're winning, we're the good guys, and we're having fun slice of life stuff. And then season two is like, everything is going to change. <laughs> that's, that's the whole. That's that. Yeah. That's pretty much season two. That looks interesting. You know, I want to watch it, but uh, we got to get the GT done first. Huh? We got we got priorities. We got a list. Can you please get, get like a five episodes at least get done? Queue going. Yeah, five. Because another thing, we're watch. Me and Chris are gonna watch Solo Leveling at the end of the month. Which, me and him made a pack. We made a blood pack. We put knives. We slit our hands and we shook on it. And we said, gotta do it. If you're gonna, you gotta do a good one. Like I did. That was shit. Yeah, it was shit. Oh my oh, god. I can't I can't do it. Better? There you go. That was better. That was better. better. Is that uh we made a blood pack that only me and him were gonna watch it together. And if anyone wants to join us, that's fine. But we're gonna I'm watch gonna it. Join you. We're going to watch twelve episodes straight of solo leveling. And that's it. And that that's that's gonna be it. Cause I I was like I, I wanted to do the same thing with JJK, but then like as soon as as soon as season two came of as a thing. Susan. <laughs> you're such an asshole. But, um, what was it, uh, I'm having a blank. Oh, yeah. Yi wanted to join in, Gert wanted to come in, and then, like, a lot of people wanted to join, which is fine, but then, and, like, and then people are like, oh, we got to finish GT. It just, all this shit came out of the woodworks, and I'm like, fucking God damn it, because I'm like, because oh, I, I watched season two all over and over again. It's one of my favorite, um, animes, it, or, but, oh, sorry, favorite seasons of anime. It's, like, my top five. It, I love it. I'm a big Attack on Titan guy. I need to watch that still. Good. It's very good. Ending with you. Especially like the last part. Like the final season. Oh my god. The little spoilers. Even spoilers for me. One thing that kind of turns me off from watching it is that apparently there's time travel shit. Yes. But does it work? It does work. It's confusing a little bit. But it's fine. It's all right. And it doesn't happen until, like, later in the season. Because my thing is that the whole idea of this world is it's a, we're back in, like, the medieval ages, like, old time shit. It's not medieval. They're, like... Well, that's what it's... Well, when the first two seasons come out, that's what it's presented they're as. They're probably, no? like, um, like, 1800s technology? Because they have cannons and shit. Well, that sort of stuff, yeah. And, like, muskets. Um, but it's presented as old, so the fact that they're bringing time travel... At in, least in the... At least in the, uh, the realm... Of Paradis Island. Yeah, no. I yeah. won't say any further. Cause well, because I, I think I don't remember exactly because I got spoiled on this. Well, apparently that they're isolated portion. They are an isolated. They are uh, that. It's literally the map of Attack on Titan is literally just the world but upside down. Really? Yes. They are spoilers, but they're on Madagascar. Yes, they are on the island of Madagascar. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Yep. So it's a good show. Great show. Ending kind of. Ending, I'm not going to say the ending Don't sucks. say the ending. That the end, I don't want to get The ending's, off. eh. It's all right. Because, right. like, my biggest thing is that apparently, what was it? It's like, they, they're, they like, isolated, and apparently the world, like, evolved around them, but just they never evolved because of the Titans or something. I don't know. You'll, you'll see it. I'll You've see gotta it. you got to watch it. It's very good. You know, because I w read a lot of the manga, uh, but uh, uh, I got caught up, and then I just never went back to it. Plus, manga was so expensive to buy. The books. I think it was like twenty dollars a pop for a book. I was like, "Fuck this shit." I don't usually like reading manga, but uh, you know, I've read the JoJo manga. That's good. I was gonna watch the JJ. Oh, sorry, not watch. I was gonna. Bu I was gonna read the JJK manga because apparently they're like two or three se seasons ahead. And but uh, Gert told me not to because he like just, just yeah. You just want to wait for it. When you know a show is gonna get animated, you might as well just wait for the animation. Yeah. You might as well just wait because reading the manga while you do want to be caught up, it's like. You only do it, like, the only manga where I recommend, like, that I, people should read, and um, I've only read, like, I think I've only read three chapters of it, so I can't, but I know, I know stuff that happens in it, because I've also seen the OVA that came out in the 90s, is, um, is Berserk, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it historically does not have a good anime adaptation, so, uh, yeah, you just want to, just want to read those. Um, I read, like, the first three chapters. Then I kind of just stopped, and I was like, oh, hmm. Probably should read it again, because it, apparently Berserk is, like, very good. It's a very, very good uh, show or uh, manga, so. But what are you going to do? What is this? Then I get self-conscious. You know, that's like, one big problem I feel like you have. with like, and, then a lot of like, people... and then I'm like, oh, like, I look so stupid, you know? Well, that's a big problem I feel like 
Like, we even have that with PTV. We have a problem where a lot of people, like, even when I look back at recording, a lot of people just don't know how to be on camera, which I'm best terrible. Advi- I can't be on camera. The best advice I could give, just f***ing keep doing it. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, like, I think obviously, you know, you get better with time um, and stuff, like, you know, because you just get more used to it. But, like, I was, like, I'm not going to lie, I was even hesitant to, like, do it in person because I was like, oh, you're on camera? No, because I can do it when there's nothing on my like face. Like it's just like blocked out and you know, you can't see me. I'm like, all right, I fucking I can shoot the shit all I want. Yeah, you know? can't see me. Well, now it's different. Can't see my expressions. I gotta be sensitive. I gotta like make sure you know <laughs> there's an appearance, there's a public audience. You know, no? I gotta get a haircut soon. By the way, yeah. nah, I was thinking of growing it out. You know, let it grow. I I keep saying that for myself, but then I, when I get into the chair, I'm like, just cut the f- off. <laughs> Which is bad. Like that. It's cute. I don't act. I think he cut a little too much in the front and the top. Nah, nah, you look fine. I, you snazzy, you know? Because he, I wanted to kind of like come down a little bit more and kind of cover up my forehead a little bit, and then oh, you have cut a big off forehead. The, yeah, yeah, I got a small head. You know, where um, plus I'm also worried because uh, my family has a high um chance of losing hair early and getting gray oh, hair. Oh no! It's on my dad's side, but oh, that's when I'm worried. I'm very important. Like for been, yeah, I was born with a full set of hair. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Like my big like one day when I was with someone, they go to my head. By the way, it's a girl, so it makes sense. Uh there's no Thank you for the clarification what there. What guy Oof. will go up to your hair and I could be me? You wouldn't what are you a fucking monkey? I mean like listen, okay, ghetto. <laughs> You're such an ass. We're free. I didn't mean it like Let's that. Let's calm down, all right? I didn't mean it like that, you <laughs> asshole. Well, monkeys pick shit out of each other's hands. I know. You asshole. I'm just making a reference because I think it's funny that Ghetto and Frieza have the same <coughs> insult. That's how you know they're good. They're good villains. Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, <laughs> but so she goes to my hair, pulls it. I'm like, ow, what the f***? She's like, you have a gray hair. I panic. Like, it was like this long ass piece of thin silvery hair. And I panic. See some grays, yeah? Don't. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna make me self conscious. You know. Yeah, there's oh right there. No, Ooh. there's not. There's not That's bad. That's it's bad not there. there. Where gray if it's silver or like gray hair, I could just dye well, it. I have a problem with my hair because my hair is very thin, so I can't get it cut too short or it looks like I'm balding. Especially in the front. Well the be- And well, I got pissed of- off. Yeah. You remember, because I went to a barber. And I told this guy, hey, man, because uh, I usually go to this one guy. He's usually in the back of the barbershop, does my hair. Perfect. Fine. Wasn't there that day. So I go in, and it's this new guy. And I'm like, ah, f-. But I'm like, I need to get my hair cut. I, like, I need to. It, it was growing too much. So I get my hair cut. And that's why I'm kind of nervous to get my hair cut again. Because I'm like, oh, I don't know where. It was go. really bad. And I was like, oh. You might as well just. Sh- yeah. <laughs> and I was like, whole right, just, head. you know, do a three on the sides. Trim the top. And when you trim the top. I mean, it's just, you know, little, little little cuts on the top. You leave a little bit of hair there. My man proceeds to f-ing just take off my entire, like, <laughs> scalp. And I'm like, all right, well, I have no hair. And I'm like, all right, uh, thanks a lot, asshole. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and he, the best part is, too, after that, he fucking gave me his business card. Like, if I was going to use him again or something. <laughs> That's like, so never f-ing f-ing. using you again. If you're ever in the storm, never coming in again. I'm like, dude, like, you know, so next time, if I ever go back to the barbershop and my guy's not there, I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait. Cause well, the guy do you have his my, number? I do not have his number. Because what I do with my barber is on. Um, because I've I never ran into that situation. Because usually, he's usually there all the time. Like, every time I go there, he's always there. There was, like, one day he just wasn't there. I'm like, oh, shit. But I need to get my hair cut that day. I was like, all right. And yeah. it's unfortunate, but, that you know, is. what are you going to do? For me, I have my guy's number where, basically, he texts me whenever. Make an appointment? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, that's smart. I should do that, honestly. If I go back in that barbershop and I see him, I'll be like, hey, do you have, like, a business car? you have something? Or, like, can I contact you? Because, like, I only want you. You're the, you're the man. <laughs> you're, you're the him. man all right? for the Let's Talk yeah, you, you can you can cut my hair all you want. You do it great. No one, everyone else. And the thing is, I've had other people besides him cut my hair there because, again, sometimes he isn't there. Usually it goes fine. You know, they don't do it as good as him, but it's like, all right, it's acceptable. Yeah. This one guy, oh, my God, dude. Like, he really f***ed up my hair, and I was so pissed. But, no. but yeah, no. you know, hair, I think, is a very specific talent to get it. Because it, uh, it's a combination of knowing how to cut certain hair. Like, the biggest problem I have with my f-ing hair, I have curly hair and wavy hair. So, like, for Same. example, if it's short, 
it, it's if you cut, it will come out to like here. <laughs> However, yeah. if you let go, it'll be this small. Yeah. So most people don't understand that. They'll go be like, you have some long ass hair. We got to cut this and cut like half of it. And then it'll have like pubic hair sort of hair. And I'll be like, thanks, buddy. Little, little peach fuzz. I'm like, you asshole. Where really, you should cut like a fourth and like above. Nothing more than like, oh, sorry, below. Nothing more than a fourth. Like, because that shit shrinks. And I found a barber that's good with that. And he knows how to style my hair in a way where I've been trying to figure out what kind of hair t styles and what kind of hair, like, type of styles I could, like, work with my hair. Like, I've had a phase where I completely grown everything out. I had a ponytail at one point. You had a bun. I did have a bun. At one point, the man bun and uh, man bun. That was a dark phase. Fucking <laughs> that was the dark ages, dude. Because no, I look back at those, I not only I was a fat, I look like <laughs> <laughs> I look like a <laughs> on those. I mean, like, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I would ever. If I were to grow my hair out, I don't know if I could ever really put it in a bun. Yeah, no. you know, I feel like, and I wouldn't even grow it out too long too. Like there are some people, some guys grow out their hair and it's like like moist critical. His hair's all the way fucking down there, and I'm like Jesus Christ, like you know. Going for a Matt Mercer. You know who Matt Mercer is, right? Yeah. Best. I made a reference. Oh, uh, oh did you? I did. God. Short term memory loss. Yeah. What are you going to do? It's unfortunate. I would grow, I want to grow my hair out long eventually. I just, I just don't have patience. Where it will take years to get to that. Because it doesn't look good. Like at some point. In the, in, like yeah. in the mid stages, when you're growing out your hair, it just does it not looks awful. look good. It does not look good. It, you have to, like, what I think we have to do is you just have to wear a hat. For that yeah. time period, <laughs> you yeah. just gotta put Plus, on you also hat. gotta think about it. We have curly hair. That's gonna be so much longer. Like, I remember, I think the longest I've ever had my hair was like it was slick back in, like it was touching the back of my neck. And that's it. Damn. Where, it, and it was, cur it was wavy. Cause once you, once you get to a certain length with it curly, it starts becoming wavy. And it just became, I, I couldn't do it. I, it was such an, cause I, my head always get hot. I would sweat in my hair. I'm like, I hate this. I hate this genuinely. I, I think I looked good. I think it was one of the top tier yeah. hairstyles I had. Nice, yeah. But um, it was so much maintenance. Like, you have no f***ing idea. Yeah, I've usually had the same hair, like, since high school, basically. Like, the same haircut, the same style. I kind of want to change it up. You know, I'm like, yeah. I'm kind of, like, done with this. Because uh... if I go back there, it's just going to be, oh, three on the sides, trim the top. And then I have, like, a little bit of a little... Little fluff here. Well, I suggest but. you should go to a new barber because I've been to like three new barbers. No, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You got well. You gotta. You gotta know. Ever since guy. that guy cut my hair like that, I've been very like anti go to a well, barber. Well, this is what I so. did when I so I because I used to go to your that was my childhood barber I used to go to and then um, I went to this other guy and I was like I need someone that knows curly hair. Went to the guy, found a guy. He was really good. Problem is. He left to go to nursing school, and then the place shut down. So I'm like, I go to damn, he went to nursing school? He was a barber, and he went, really? Yeah. A lot of people go to barbing, barber school to make some cash so they can pay off college. Mm -hmm. It pays a lot. Hey, you know. Listen, and I wish I knew how to cut hair. I'd cut my own hair. Yeah. If I could. It would. Because yeah. then you can know what to do. Exactly. Then after that, I went down to SCAD, and I actually went to a salon most of the time because uh, they knew how to do it. Because one thing I will say, women are ten times better at hair than men. Yeah, I mean, that's probably right. Because mm -hmm. they, just, they just know how that shit works. So yeah. I went to a female salon for a year or two. And then when I came back up here, um, I found this new barber that opened up by us called, what was it? It's like, it's like Clean Cuts or something? Level Up Cuts. That Level Up Cuts, yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, I need a guy that's good with curly hair. And the guy raised his hand. I'm like, you're going to be my new best friend. And my guy. That's my guy. You, gotta, you have to have a relationship with your barber. You know, you got to like, you know... Yeah, like, hey man, this is my hair. This is how I like it. You gotta talk to him. You gotta, you know, and then I'll ask you about your life, and you'll ask him about his. You know, that's I an interesting thing. We have like, do you weird... talk to your barber? Like yeah. when he cuts your hair? Yeah, my barber does the same thing. He'll be like, oh, how's school? How's this? And I'm like, it's good. It's good. It's that. He's like, oh yeah, you know. And I think he's um, he has an accent. I don't know. I forgot where he's from. He told me one time, I think. But he has a very like, it's not too thick, but he does have an accent, and he's like. You know, and he's like, oh, that's good, 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 you know, and, uh, you yeah, know, obviously, English, you can tell English is not his first language, yep. but, you know, he, he always tries to keep conversation. He's an older guy, too, uh, but he's very, very good. Like, he's like, out of all the people in my, at that barbershop who have done my hair, he does it the best. Mm -hmm. Like, and it, it's surprising, too, because I, I know usually people, like, they get an older barber and they're, they're nervous or whatever, but, like, 
the guy who I get, I actually want the older barber, and he, I think I don't know. I want I don't want to say he's the oldest in the in the shop, but he he's good at it. Like when he does my hair, he's good. So yeah, but I have to make a decision to go back there, and I got to make sure I get him. And I I want to change it up though. That's the thing. He usually does my hair like usually I don't even have to tell him what I want because he'll like know. I'm like ah three on the sides, trim the top, but I want to be like yeah I want to do something different. Well, so I'll see what he says, but yeah, yeah, dude. I don't know how you and like Gert find the perfect time to just keep texting me, because there has been like is Gert texting you right now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where him and like Gert will like not text me for like days or like oh. even I'll even say for Gert weeks. That's good crack of the neck right there. I'm just and on. then when I'm like in a position where I don't I can't have anyone texting me, but I have my phone on in case of emergencies. I get constant texts from the people I wanted to text me when I wasn't busy. When I was like, Listen, humor we, we care about you. We love you. You know what I mean? What do you want us to do? Love you too, brother. Yeah. You're fucking too asshole. Far. Yeah. Too far. You weirdo. So cute. You all right? My oh. hands aren't cold anymore. They're like warm. That felt weird. <laughs> You never hold hands with your bro? Come on. <laughs> you don't, you I, I think I told, we talked about this in the car. You've been changing me in that sort of way for f***ing, like, where. So, recently, like, we have this, like, dynamic of, like, where I'm, like, what's up, I'm brother? changing you. <laughs> you, you and Gert, because we have this, like, dynamic where, like, you're, like, hey, Conlin, I really like you. And I'm, like, That should be the thumbnail, by the way. What? The podcast. Yeah, we could do that. Just. <laughs> yeah, that, that was good. That was, that, that is a good thumbnail. Saying. That is a good you know? thumbnail. I'm a genius. Okay. But, um, <laughs> but, um, but, um, you guys always do this weird shit. Then it's like, Colin, I like you. Or like, you're, you're my brother. Or do some weird shit like, or like, like, yeah, yeah, uh, or like. You get like the little pouty face and you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, that's fucking weird. But recently <laughs> I've been like doing the same shit to other people that I've been meeting recently. And I'm like, it, uh, to see if like they're cool or not. And then the, like some of them just get it. And then some don't. Because yeah, they're, they're like. They understand. And they're like, but others are like, you're a fucking weirdo. Get away from me. And I'm like, oh, what am I turning I'm a into? weirdo, so I just embrace well, it. You know? yeah, well, I'm a weirdo too, but I have to hide it for like clients and like normal people. Because like, eh. in retrospect, we're psychos. Nah. Well, okay, not as much me. I think you, I think you're crazy. You, like in retrospect. I think I'm slowly turning to the crazy side, but I feel like, nah, I think I'm normal. I would. <laughs> nah, I'd win. I'd win. Where, um, if I had to put it like Gertz the craziest right now, he's converting a lot of scene and then a lot of scene is converting me. It's like a chain. It's a chain, yeah. But, uh, but uh, I have to be normal for clients. So it's no, fucking... you don't. Yes, I do. Do you know how many weirdos there are in the world? Yes. Who and, have normal jobs? But I want a good job. I where I'm working on getting a job at uh, MBC or an internship there. Okay. Yeah. And I can't just be like, hey, what's up, homeboy? You homie sexual? <laughs> Okay, well, I don't think I would ever say something like that. I mean, you, if you do that, I mean, you know. Yeah, you, have, you have, you have, you. Client? My hands are sweaty. Well, because it's getting a little hot in here. It is getting hot in here. Because of the, probably because of the lights. I'm, I'm, I think I'm, like, starting to sweat, you know. The bright. The lights. These LEDs. You know. Um, but, God, I lost my train of thought. I was blinded by the yeah. light. What? That's a weekend reference. Blinding light. I can hate that guy. He he does, uh, and I don't know why. I hate him. I hate the weekend. Why do you hate him, Joe? I just hate him. Why do you hate him? I hate him because I want to hate him. Why do you want to hate there's him? No, there's not a reason. I just hate him. He just doesn't like that he's on all the time, which I will give him the appointment. I think his songs are mid. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. I disagree. Right? I Where think he's very mid songs. My biggest problem I have with the weekend. Oh, my shirt keeps going down because I'm wearing my shirt. Uh, but my biggest problem... Weird flex, but okay. I mean, like, you know... <laughs> oh, man, I well, fucking... well, you have a bigger chest. Whoa, my chest is so big that the mic is falling off. I mean, <laughs> fucking... Jesus Christ. Listen, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know why. Ever since I've been getting muscle, like, I've learned how to flex my chest. I want to show off so much. Because I, I had no muscle before, and now I can actually flex it. it, it my, imagine having nothing and it exists now. Okay, listen, this is a sports guy. Let's let him live in his fantasy world, ladies and gentlemen. Let me Let's live in my right. fantasy for world a little bit longer. You, you've had it all your life, so you don't understand. I'm transitioning from fat person to re the new person. <laughs> fat person to new person. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, The weekend, I think his songs are so overplayed. 
it's not even funny. Yeah, hundred percent. Like where I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like I'm kind of getting the disgust for him. Where every time I see a weekend song on my playlist now, I'm like, I, I skip. Dude, it. they all sound the f-ing same too. It's like Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'll f-ing start this bubble. I don't give a do shit. Do it, do it. Taylor do Swift. It. Admit us. I don't care a shit. How many times she in her songs it goes hey hey or whatever, and there's like a f-ing clap sound or whatever. You know, a uh, meat can get made f-ing fun of it. You made a video about it, and like it's like she's mid and her. F-ing Fan. Okay, I'll say this. I don't. I, I, and here's the thing too. I don't necessarily dislike Taylor Swift like that much. I dislike her fans though. Fans are f-ing crazy. Yeah. Her fans are wild. Listen, I just I per okay. Call me a Swifty or whatever the f- you want. I like most of her music. I listen. I like Shake It Off. Shake it. That gets me going. Shake all right. It. I put that on the gym. Well, you've yeah. seen those TikToks where it's like me and my bro going in like f-ing like this, and then what we're playing our music. It's f-ing white girl f-ing pop. Yeah. Music. No. Listen, like, I, I think she makes some really catchy songs. You know, you get, you get nice in the mood. Yeah. But, like, you know, overall, it's all right. But, yeah, her fans. You know, I will say the fan base is fucking crazy, man. They're, like, they're, it's one, I would say one. It's of like them. a cult. Yeah. It, it is a cult. And, like, here's the thing. Like, one, okay, when I was going through, like, a bad phase of going through dating apps. <laughs> the Doomer Files. <laughs> um, <laughs> the bad phase. No, no. Where, uh. <laughs> Traditional roles? <laughs> Do I talk about that? No, I don't. We can start it. No, we I think don't. we're going to talk about it with one cast. We got it. You, not this one. We'll not, one please, this. not this one. We'll at least give me time. But here's, here's my thing. Traditional roles. <laughs> it's a little inside joke. Is it an inside joke? But, we'll, we'll come to light eventually. Yeah. Which, um... My, <laughs> those who know, no. Mo- my biggest red flag when I'm going on dating, or even like any girl in general, if they are a Taylor Swift cult fan. Where, like, if they could take no criticism from Taylor Swift, then I, no, I don't want you. Like, no, I'm sorry. You're done. I'm done. Like, kill me. Because, like, I'm um, sorry. If you think she does no wrong and you're like, all of her shits are Did bad. you see that person who did the plane thing? Where, like, they found out her private jet, like, burns, like, a bunch of fuel or something. Oh, like yeah. That. Yeah, and they, like, released it to the public and, like, how much shit she burns. And it's like, oh, yeah, she, you know. Yeah, she kind of does a little harm to the environment, you know? Well, well, <laughs> just a little bit. Well, that's with all celebrities. Like, did you not see for the Super Bowl all the f-ing jets that went to... Where was it this time? Where, where, or where was it? Well, well there's, I think there's, like... I think there's charts for, like, multiple celebrities about their private jets, too. Well, I don't even, think it's just Taylor Swift. Well, it's not but, just, like... Yeah, but the, here's the thing. They have a whole chart set up. It's not, it will say the celebrity's name, the plane, and how much gas it has. And it will show every celebrity in the world going to one place, like a f-ing cult. And how much fuel that burns. And that's more than, like, a basic city will burn. Like, let's just say, we'll use New York City. Like, that will be more than what New York City city burns in a year. And it's crazy. Where everyone's like, like, for example, we had the new congestion zone being added soon this year um, in New York City. Which I think is a wasteless point to just taxpayer money and just shit. I can't say anything about it because I don't know anything about it. So. Where basically it's like <laughs> if a car goes in, they charge you for um, how long they're, you're in there for or some shit like that. Just walk. Yeah, at that point you might as well just walk. Just walk. I mean, and no, we, we walked for the whole point long, is yeah. to save the environment and discourage people from going. Where I'm like, what about the celebrities that literally burn millions of gas? Yeah. It fuck. was really funny. I remember I, remember I saw the graph or whatever. It's stupid shit, man. Like, people really don't think. Where the big problems is the people that are rich that make these stupid decisions and that affect, like, more than an average person would. But no, we don't talk about those because we have to make the change. We have to make it. Oh, we almost touched her. What? That, nope. <laughs> Do not mother. Oh, my. Pretty cute. No, I yeah. don't like that. Mm. You're right. I'm thinking. Because Show off those socks. Come on. I know. <laughs> I'll pull them back. Let's see. No. Oh, we're hiding them. I can't, I can't hide them. All right. It's fine. The one day I wore these socks, man. The one day. It was the podcast, and you noticed it. Surprised. I know. I surprised I made the connection. Because here's you the know? thing. What I thought was the dead giveaway. There's a has been hotel key. I wouldn't know what that is. <laughs> Not gonna lie, okay, the pentagram the, gave it away. The pentagram's the one that gave. Oh, okay, me then. It's a good game, but it is a good game. You want to you wanna pick up the phone? No, you can do that. You can end it. Pick right. up the phone. Podcast. I think we're gonna end this podcast. I thank you guys so much for watching.
Thank you. But uh, we're going to take a phone call from a very special somebody. Hello? 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 Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night. Is this Freddy Fazbear? <laughs>